welcome to another episode of Absolutely Long Island. Uh, we're outside today. We thought we'd change it up a bit. It is happy hour. It's six o'clock on a yeah, Friday. Beautiful weather. Gorgeous. So. Gorgeous weather today. And today during our happy hour, we are going to try a new wine. I have never had wine from uh, James Port Vineyard, which is on the North Fork of Long Island. This is a Sauvignon Blanc, which is one of my favorite wines. So I thought we would try this. Now, I bought this wine at one of my favorite wine stores in town called Mora's Wine and Spirits in Setauk at Mora, M-O-R-A. I really like that wine store because they give you a lot of personal attention and the owners are wonderful and they have a lot of Long Island wines to choose from. Mm -hmm. So, um, happy hour. We've made it through the week. Cheers. What do you think of this Sauvignon Blanc? Nice color. Mm -hmm. Oh, I Very like that. Good. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Really good. That's excellent. Well, so yeah, go out there. I would love to. I've been to James Port many times, but I never got a chance to stop into this vineyard. But I definitely will now yeah, James because Port is this beautiful. is really a terrific Sauvignon Blanc, and it's a good price point too. On today's episode, <laughs> it's kind of a funny episode. We yeah. we did lifestyle the last couple of episodes. Today, we're going to talk about how much should we put up with mm. when you're dating at 56 years old? I am a pig. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> you know what? I feel some, I mean, I do get a lot of emails. I'm not going to say that I don't, but I turn down 90% of them because I'm not physically attracted to somebody. <laughs> and I feel that you know, at this stage of the game, I'm not dead yet. Like, I really want to date someone that I want to be around and I'm not repulsed. Don't you feel like this is your last dance, like Donna Summer? Yeah, I feel. Or something, you're like late 50s. If it's not going to happen yeah. now, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I kind so of feel that way. Like, if you don't really find a significant other, say by 60, you know, <laughs> chances are you're not going to. I don't know a lot of 70 year olds that are out in the town just looking for like a decent relationship. Except in Palm Beach. Yeah. So how low do we go? What's here? What's here? What's here? And what's here? Exactly. So, so we were talking about amount of teeth right. the other day. Yeah. So I mean, what do you think about that? Well, one tooth missing in the back, you know, anybody could have had a bad abscess, you know, that went wrong and they had to pull it. So that I give them a pass. I get it. You know, but when you're missing all of the front shoppers or, you know, three or four are gone. And then maybe the bottom are all brown and kind of like, they look like they're hanging on by like a little string. Like Could you point me to the closest nighttime dentist? Like, like baked thick, beans? Like baked beans, yeah. yeah. Then, Never a good look. To me personally, I can't go near that with the 10 foot pole. Right. So, uh, you know, that's one of the things. And... You know, do I really want someone who lives in the parents' basement? And they're waiting for the parents to die. You know, that I don't really want either. You know, so I don't think it's asking too much, but maybe I'm wrong. So I'd love to hear from the viewers. Like, yeah. at 56, am I crazy that I want a decent looking man who has a job right. and a home? Knock, knock. Excuse me, Mr. Donnelly. Mr. Donnelly? I'm in a meeting. So if we had a checklist, yeah. would it be um, only missing a maximum of three teeth? Would maybe that be two, on the checklist two? Two, two like, is like the max. Two back molars. What about front? Would be okay. What about front? <laughs> front, you know, I hate to have like a big one missing here. That could probably kill the deal. So, <laughs> so yeah. they gotta have the front. And shoppers. at least a little white, not totally yellow. Yeah. Right? Especially nowadays, you know, according to like, you know, modern dentistry, I mean they could get, you know, like a, a an implant in, in twenty four hours. Hey, hang on. Uh, uh. You know, I see this commercial. There's an, there's an older guy. He got like a beautiful new set of teeth within a week. So, and they put you on a payment plan. So they drive through yeah, like a car yeah, yeah. Like you're driving through and someone just takes yeah. these fake teeth and just... Yeah. Open wide. And you then, then you, then you, go then you drive out. <laughs> yeah. And you like pay on your way out. Right, right. Especially 
right now due to the COVID crisis, I'm sure they'll put you on a very good payment plan. You know, because teeth are kind of essential, I would think, necessary. What and about then, dyeing the hair? You and I have talked about yes, this. Yes. You've had you've dated two guys which instead of just having salt and pepper a little gray yeah. or leaving it gray, yeah. they went they went like 180. 180. And yeah. they literally took like kiwi shoe polish yeah. that you would use for your shoe yeah. and slapped Slap. it on. Yeah. I dated someone. He went away to Israel. He came back. I met him at a restaurant. I almost fell over. He said he was stopping by his hairdresser and getting his hair done. I assumed it was a haircut. He looked like someone just threw like almost like black tar, you know, as if he was doing a driveway, like all over the man's head. <laughs> And while I'm trying to eat, I'm thinking, I'm never seeing him again. I can never see this man again. I can never face him again. I can never take him anywhere because he had met my sister and whatever and my kids. And I just, I had, I ghosted him. It was terrible. But, but, now, but the hair, but, you couldn't get, you couldn't kind of like turn that around. And then the other thing is I couldn't say anything. You know, this was a couple years ago. So back then I couldn't say, what the hell happened to your hair? You know, you really need to fix that ASAP. I have a good hairdresser in the city. And they ain't all just haircuts. Shampoos too. Yeah, and he said that he did that because he's in sales and he wanted to look younger. But that really, that really didn't help. And you know what? And I've seen him online within the last couple of years and now he's full gray. So I guess he gave up on it because maybe a couple of women, you know, told him. And he looks much better, Greg. And maybe I'm wrong in feeling this way. So I welcome your comments. Am I wrong? Should I not expect anything at all at this stage of the game other than a heartbeat and a pulse? <laughs> a girlfriend of mine told me, she said, you get the behavior you allow. You allow, exactly. Yeah. What, how low should you go yeah. as far as behavior? Also. I know, I had one of those this week. And, you know, we had a long conversation. And he's been in the dating game for a long time. We finally had a good conversation. We were supposed to meet up. And then the day before, he gives me some BS excuse that his daughter called out of the blue and he's going to spend the whole weekend with her. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> Meg, come back here. I meant sex. And blew me off, like, less than 24 hours with no notice. And this is the man who said, you have to make dating a priority. That's what he wants to do. So I thought, okay, we're on the same page. Right. Because even though we were all busy with jobs and kids and family, that has to be priority or it's not going to happen. And he blew me off before date one. I don't believe so. That. I don't believe that. I think he got a better offer. I don't know. Hey, baby. You? you got girlfriend, Vietnam? Yes. Well, baby, me so horny. Me so horny. You keep lying. Me love you a long time. I think also guys know, and especially if they're players, they're not getting anything it, right because of COVID. They know you're not getting in the car and you're not going back to their house. So their interest level is probably low at best. You know, and yes, getting back to it, yes, a lot of men have a fresh attitude at this stage of the game. Because not only did they go to hell in a handbasket. What do you think was in that Danish? You think it was cheese? Because I, uh, I got a little problem with cheese. They still want the Victoria's Secret model. I mean, I dated someone who constantly told me that, like, I was heavy, you know, and I'm probably the thinnest I've been my whole life. Why am I so beautiful? Why do all the fellers fall for me? Why am I so beautiful? Why do all the women envy me? And every time I said something, he would say, do you know how many calories are in that? Do you know how many calories are in that? And I'd be like, what are you saying? You know, what, what man says that? That guy's got a serious weight problem. Go home, start exercising. That's not kind. 
you know, besides the fact that it's not true, even if it was true, what a nasty thing to say. It's a nasty thing to say. And yeah. that's what they say by, if you accept that behavior, mm -hmm. that's the behavior you're going to get. Right. So you kind of have to set them straight yeah. and be like, I don't appreciate that. And yeah. I think that's why a lot of women at some point, you know, they either turn gay. Yeah. You know, and then the other thing is you just give up. And, you know, you plant flowers, you get animals, you're into your house, whatever, your kids. You should know. see my garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have vegetables all yeah, over Yeah, so you place. do another... You know, it's disturbing that, as women, we have to put up with this. Um, so, viewers, we're almost out of time. So I guess what we decided on the show um, uh, is basically how low can you go, um, you know, as far as attractiveness, as far as behavior, right. um, women out there. What do you think about how low you can go? Right. Is this our last dance in yeah. our 50s and we have to accept this nonsense? Yeah. <laughs> or do we, you know, decide that, you know, we're Whatever, not, we're, we're not, not going to accept it. this yeah. and look for that needle in a haystack guy who's actually going to be decent yeah. and normal to you, you yeah. know. Um, so please comment. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We've got some interesting episodes planned for the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoy the weather right. and I hope you wind down the week with us every Friday at 6 on Absolutely Long Island. We will see you next time. Right. Take care. Thank you and bye.